This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the best way to make an amazing website. Hey guys, it's Max. Today, we are doing another blind color comparison, except this time we're using the brand new A7S III. Is this the right one? No, it's not the right one. This is not the A7S III. Where's my A7S III? All right, this one is the A7S III. Yes, I have too many cameras. And I'm comparing it to my own personal Canon EOS R5. And a lot of people out there say and agree that Canon has the better colors. So today, we're gonna find out not what I like better, and I will be giving you guys my opinions as well, uh, but what you guys like better. So it's a blind comparison. There's gonna be 12 different scenes. Get out a piece of paper, get out your phone. And for each one, you're gonna write down, do you like A better or do you like B better? and then I'll reveal which camera is which. Now I already looked at the footage, I was quite surprised for a number of reasons, and we'll get into that. So I did this about a year ago against the Fuji film. I love that video. Um, I was surprised that I liked Fuji colors better, but not all of you guys did. And I also took some of you guys' suggestions what I should do better this time. So we're actually gonna have three different scenarios. One is gonna be standard out of the box. So we have the standard colors on the Canon using auto white balance, which I didn't do last Last time and then Sony just a standard picture profile off auto white balance now for these I try to match up my exposure I try shot multiple times to make sure it's similar um, and then afterwards we're gonna look at a natural or neutral profile and then C log so let's go ahead and start out make sure you guys are writing these down All right, so those were using the standard out of the box settings with auto white balance. Now the next set of four scenes, that is actually gonna be using neutral on the EOS R5, which I like. And for the Sonys, their profiles are weird, they're numbered. I'm using the picture profile six, just like I described it in my A7S III setup guide. So I'm adding in some saturation, some contrast, because it's very flat. And actually it matches up very close as far as saturation contrast to the Canon. Um, and then here I'm using the shade white balance for both because this was shot in the shade. Uh, so I'm using custom white balance, but not completely custom. Now, before we jump in and take a look at these where it starts getting interesting, let me give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Not only is it incredibly easy to make a website, it's drag and drop, you have a lot of customizations, but it just works and it works on iPads, on iPhones, on desktop, it works everywhere. You don't have to keep fixing plugins and other issues. It doesn't matter if you need a portfolio, a blog, e-commerce, or anything else, Squarespace has got you covered. It's incredibly simple, it's affordable, and SEO tools are built in so people will actually find your website online. Start your free two-week trial with no credit card needed by going to squarespace.com slash or by using the link down below. And when you're ready to launch, you'll save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you, Squarespace. And now let's jump in and compare these more natural or neutral picture profiles that I love shooting with.
So at this point, you guys have looked at eight different scenes and I really hope you guys are writing down the results. If you haven't, please just go back and do it really quickly. This is where it gets very interesting because we're starting to see more differences. And next, we are gonna be comparing S log three compared to C log with the Canon. Now, last time I did this comparison between Fuji and Sony, I avoided that because with this, you start getting into a ton of differences. And with this log footage, you can tweak it so many different ways. So I wanna preface and say that you can take the Sony footage, you can make it look like Canon footage or vice versa. So because of this, um, I am trying to be as careful as possible. I had three other people look over this footage and I basically shot the footage, different exposures so they would match up. I used the LUT that is provided by Canon and by Sony to convert their log footage to Rec. 709. Then I tweaked some saturation and contrast to get it to match up as close as possible. And these are the differences that you're gonna see if you just use the LUT that's provided. Of course, there's so many ways to grade log footage, uh, but you guys asked for this. You wanted me to test this out, so here it is. And there we have it, guys. You guys saw the log footage, and yeah, there's a good amount of difference there. Um, I was quite surprised. Now, I'm gonna reveal which camera is which. Um, I'm gonna pause for a second so you guys can you know, make sure you're all finished up. And then I want you guys to let me know down in the comments section. Don't spoil it for, for everybody which camera is which, but let me know how many points you got for one camera out of 12 and how many for the other. And then if you were surprised by maybe you're a Sony shooter and you prefer the Canon colors, maybe you already knew that, or vice versa, maybe you're a Canon shooter, you like the Sony colors better. So let's pause for a second. Camera A is the Canon EOS R5, and camera B is the Sony A7S III. So let me know down in the comment section below if the results were like you expected. Now, for me personally, I was expecting to like the Canon colors better, but I didn't. I liked the Sony better with the actual S-Log3 and C-Log, I definitely preferred how C-Log looked. Um, I liked how the skin tones looked better in general with the same white balance. I think the white balance looked better as well. The other thing that really surprised me was how clean the Canon was in terms of noise. Now, I didn't mention it at the start, but I was shooting 4K HQ. So that's actually recording an 8K image oversampling it into 4K. That's a four times oversample. And shooting C-Log at night was actually cleaner than shooting S-Log with the Sony. And I was not expecting that because the Sony is supposed to be the low light king. But wow, if you can shoot 4K HQ, if you're not recording for a long period of time, so he isn't an issue, it looks so good. So that was very interesting. Let me know what surprises you guys found from doing this video. Hopefully you guys did the test. And if you're somebody that bought an A7S III, if you have one coming or one came in already, check out my setup guide for filmmakers. I show how I set up the menu systems and all the changes I made out of the box, how I set up my function menu to be super useful while you're actually recording. So to have some great tools, how I map all the custom buttons, my picture profiles, what I tweak, the four of them that I'm using, and I give you guys a little download file so you guys can just pop your SD card in and get a nice base starting point to make this camera very, very usable and very convenient to shoot with. Once again, shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching. Click that circle right there if you guys wanna subscribe. I'm gonna have some more head-to-head -head showdowns. This has been Max, and I'll see you in the next video.